Acitrezza is a quaint coastal fishing village on the eastern coast of Sicily, about 10 kilometers from the city of Catania. Its ambiance is shaped by natural beauties, legends, and mysticism. Like these large rocks rising from the Ionian Sea, called the Isola dei Ciclopsi, or Cyclops Islands. They're the ones the ancient Greek poet, Homer, wrote about in the Odyssey. Several other faraglioni, or volcanic rocks, give it a characteristic unlike any other beach in Sicily. Here you can find specialty dishes with fish from the sea to your plate. This is polypop. Polypop. These guys were swimming over here about eight hours ago. We'll show you two eateries where traditional cuisine is transformed into art and take you back in history to a time of simplicity and elegance. Acitrezza is one of those Sicilian fishing villages you see in the movies. The men come off their fishing boats and set up shop right on the shore. Bargaining and bragging about their daily catch. <laughs> Some fishermen take their catch to the city, Catania, and sell them at one of the biggest and most robust fish markets in Italy. A statue of Acitrezza's patron saint, San Giovanni Battista, or Saint John the Baptist, vigilantly watches and protects the village from the sea. The main church is also named St. Giovanni, where visitors can walk in and pray on most days. At the end of June, there's a celebration of the fish, a festival put on by the volunteers from the church. Freshly caught pesce spada, or swordfish, is served with oil, lemon, oregano, salt, and fresh salad, plus a glass of vino. In September, there's also a blessing of the fleets by the parishioners and many visitors. For most of the year, these waters are a playground, not only for locals, but also for visitors from northern Italy. The waters are filled with swimmers, kayakers, snorkelers, and even water polo players. Families, friends, and lovers often stroll along the stretch known as the Riviera of the Cyclops. On any given day, you can find the old timers kicking back on benches, talking about, well, life. <laughs> On another corner, they play cards right on the street. But perhaps the most remarkable sight in Acitrezza are these three rocks, or Faraglioni. According to legend, these rocks were the ones hurled at the vessels of Ulysses, the legendary Greek king, after he and his men managed to blind Polyphemus in the poem Odyssey. Ulysses and his men escaped, leaving behind a stunning sight that can be seen from kilometers. Set against this splendid view is Sicilia's Café de Mar, a hip hotspot run by two brothers committed to exposing, exporting, and enhancing all things Sicilian. We have uh, together have an idea to open one place where you can test the good things from Sicily and you can do this little paradise. Andrea and Francesco both have day jobs. One is an engineer, the other a lawyer. But they are also savvy businessmen. First they opened a shop at the airport in Catania, followed by Café de Mar and a residential with apartments for rent. Pride and passion and uh, 
uh, value or do you think these are the best things that we can do with our brand Sicilias? Cipreza is a uh, little town where all the, the people from Sicily come to have a beautiful day. To, to have a beautiful day with the beach, with Cultura and Faraglioni. This is the question motive. Uh, the love, uh, love for the things, love for your job is the, 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 the best the ingredients for do some job. And then when you have the good things, you can do always. The first, uh, the very important thing is that you need some people that uh, works with you, good people. From the decor and furniture to the foods and ambience, all are Sicilian. Francesco's wife, Vanessa de Bella's late father, was a prominent architect and a restorer of ancient pieces. Some of his works lined the halls at Café de Mar. And he had done um, um, a very important uh, works in his life. He was a special person and now I remember him like a wonderful um, daddy. Mm. Andrea's wife, Gabriella's mother, is a headmaster at one of the schools in Acitrezza. One of her teachers is an expert on ancient fishing boats in the region. He made these table decorations, emulating ancient ones used for fishing in the area. So he, he continues to teach to the kids how to, to draw, to paint the boats. The ancient way. Yes, of, the ancient so way. So it's passing down tradition from one exactly. generation to another. One of the most important boats is uh, Providenza. Uh, it's come from Maravoglia, from Giovanni Verga. And Giovanni, as you know, of course, Giovanni Verga is from Macitrezza. So we really wanted to emphasize this story because we really like uh, our lands. So now we are going to La Cucina de Giuseppe. Now it's time to make the sweet and sour tuna with head chef Giuseppe Patti. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. De tonno marinato a una lieve marinatura alla menta. Mint? Mint, eh, mint and oil. Mint and oil and for uh, two, three hours. You let it marinate? Yes. This type of red tuna caught nearby is highly sought after, especially by the Japanese who use it for sashimi or sushi. Cipolla. Cipolla. Aglio. Aglio. Garlic. Menta. Mine. Mento. Oil, oh, aceto rosso, vinegar. Vinegar. Eh. Semolino. Semolina. Sugar. Of course, we are using all local ingredients. Okay. And this? This is the marmalade of cipolla onion and mint. It's a mix. After marinating the tuna with olive oil and chopped mint for at least two hours, lightly coat it with semolina. First, the olive oil. Very, very hot oil. Very hot. Next, place it in the hot olive oil for a couple of minutes on both sides. Like his father, who's a pastry chef, Giuseppe has a passion for cooking. His favorite ingredients are the freshly caught fish right off these shores. Now, something that you should know about Giuseppe is that he does traditional Sicilian food, right? Yes. But you put your personality into it. Yes. A little bit different, right? Once the tuna is seared, place it aside. Next, put some olive oil and garlic in a pan. Fry the onions on low heat. Put a little bit of sugar. Drizzle a little balsamic vinegar. So now this is crystallized. Yes. Okay. Chop the mint. Cook the tuna for a few more minutes. Five minutes of free uh, little fire for the onion chips. Next, the onion chips. Coat the onion rings with semolina and fry them. That's that though. So it great. They're going to be crunchy. Yes. The other tonno. Ah, so it's a little bit rare inside. And now for the presentation. It is something truly unique here at Cafe de Mar. Chips of onion. 
more mint. Yes. And finish it up with a little oil. Straight of the tradition in the new edition. Tonno in agrodolce con cipolle di tropea. Voila! I'm so excited to try this tuna caught right off the shores from here. Grazie. Look at that, just fell right off. Beautiful color. This is one of the most tender pieces of tuna I've ever had, mixed with the sweetness of the marmalade, the onions, and the sea salt. Absolutely spectacular. Wine and tuna at Cafe de Mar. Can't get any better. One of the specialties here at Cafe de Mar is that after a meal, they serve these little tubes of garnita. That way, you can sample a wide variety instead of just one or two, which is typically how they are served. Granita was developed by the Saracens in Sicily in the 10th century. Originally, they put fruit juices on snow from Mount Etna. Today's granitas echo popular Sicilian flavors. Sapores of granita. Fragola. Strawberry. Mandorla. Almond. Gelsi. Mulberry. Caffè. Cafe, oh, pistachio, limone, limone, cioccolato, chocolate, and festa. Now off to another hot spot that specializes in fish. Tutto bene? Okay. Trattoria Verga de Gaetano. The iconic establishment opened back in 1894. Gaetano has been here for over 10 decades. Eh. Questo pesce, questo mollusco è solo Sicilia. Sì. E Catania, e Catania, e l'isola Orie. Sì. Catania, isole Orio questo. Sì. Alice di Acitrezza. Sì. Oh. Alice. You can pick your dish from a display of fish, dead or alive. This is fresh, look the eyes. From the eyes of the fish, you can see if it's fresh, fresh or not. One of the specialties is cuttlefish and squid ink pasta. That's the famous sepia, the cuttlefish. That's made with tomato sauce and a little ink, the squid, uh, a little sack of it, and then there's also pieces of cuttlefish. Photo, a film, La Terra Trema, Luchino Visconti. By the way, Gaetano proudly likes to point out that his wife was in the movie, La Terra Trema, The Earth Trembles, directed by Lucino Vinconte in 1948. The story is loosely based on a book written by Acitrezza's very own Giovanni Verga. His book, Malavoglia, The House of Medlar Tree, is based on Acitrezza. The movie uses mostly local actors. Ciao! Okay. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you for sharing a piece of my heaven, Acitrezza, with me. And if you enjoyed this piece of Yumi and Sicily, check out others on Facebook and on YouTube. Ciao!